Hello, I am in Christ. I have become a new man. My past is gone. My new life in Christ has begun. And the new me is being unveiled through the knowledge of my Creator. This is the new man commission with the mandate of revealing Jesus to the world, demonstrating his love to the people. Welcome. Servant leadership is not lowering yourself to other people's desires. Servant leadership is, is a lofty thing. It is serving yourself to the world. But first you've got to discover yourself. Your gift is the key to your leadership. If you haven't found yourself yet, if you haven't discovered your true gift yet, you are still a follower. People have been looking for you all your life, and they cannot find you. They keep finding what society produced. People are really not looking for you. They are looking for your gift. Let me give you the hint. Please don't miss Wednesday. Let me give you a hint. Jesus ended the seminar with this statement. He said, He that would be great among you shall become the servant. And he who shall be first shall be the slave. He who shall be what? First. He who shall be what? First. Say it loud. Now, I did some research on this concept because I want to know what did he mean. And the word he used is amazing. Let me put it in English terms. He that would be the first one they look for is the one who is the slave. You understand that. Let me give you an example. I got a phone call from T.D. Jakes a few weeks ago. And he said, Miles, I'm planning a cruise. And we had a meeting my leaders and we wanted someone to teach on leadership and you were the first one that came to mind do they think of you first when they want something done that's why you're not a leader yet because they can't identify you yet they don't know the gift it's fair every one of you is great but it's buried under cultural graveyards let me ask you a question. Don't answer it. Just think about it. What are you known for? Here's how he ended the seminar. He says, For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, read my lips, himself as a ransom. Leadership is finding yourself and then serving it to the world. What makes Tiger Woods a leader? He never looked for followers. Check him out. And when he was playing last month, by the thousands they went to that place and they kept walking up and down the green. Thousands. Uh, this little fella even ain't 30 years old yet. They keep walking up and down. Why? The guy is leading. I came from London yesterday. And the airport is pictures everywhere over London's airport. I went to South Africa, stepped into the Cape Town airport. His pictures all over Cape Town airport. He even ain't 30 yet. How old are you and they can't find you? He never sought leadership. He never took a course in leadership. He never got a course in MBA or master's in leadership or management. The guy simply found a gift. He discovered his gift. He refined his gift. And now he serves it to the world. He's a slave. How do I know? Read the book that they wrote about him. At 4 a.m. he's up on the course. And you sleep him. You sleep him. By the time you show up on the course to watch him, he already played a whole day's worth of golf. He's a slave. Only slaves get up at 4 to prepare for when the masters show up. That's too deep. You cannot be successful and have eight hours of sleep. It's that simple. Michael Jordan never took a course in leadership. 
never took a course in leadership management, trying to rule people. He never sought followers. Found a gift. Developed his gift. Read his book. He was up at 5 a.m. before school. High school. In a gym by himself, shooting 300 balls before he ate breakfast. He was sleeping. He's a slave. And you want to be great. You want to be great? Find something that you are a slave to. God bless you. Stay blessed. For more of our resources, follow us on our social media handles.